TCP IP settings are set on your local area connection properties. There are several ways to get there. When you go through the Start menu, because we have a new Start menu with XP in 2003, you may or may not have some of these various items to get to your local area connections. Now, the first place you can try is My Network Places. You can right-click that and choose Properties, and that will take you to your Network Connections window with our local area connection in question here. Another way to get here is if you have Network Connections in your Start menu. You can right-click that and choose Open or Explore. It takes you to the same window. Now again, because of the new Start menu, you may or may not have those items, so you can go to Control Panel as a last resort and get to Network Connections. I'll go ahead and open that. Here's our window, and then you can right-click your local area connection and choose Properties. That'll get you to your TCP IP properties. So there's TCP IP in the list. Click on Properties. Here we go. So the first thing you'll notice is how to set your IP address. Now, you'll notice here that we are specifying a static or manual IP address, 1.220, and a, an appropriate subnet mask, an appropriate default gateway. Uh, of course, you, you pretty much need these three pieces of information in almost any network these days. Down below, you have the DNS server IP address settings, and again, almost in all cases these days, you would certainly specify an IP address for a DNS server. Now, we're doing things manually here. You can use DHCP to get your information by switching over to say you want to obtain an IP address automatically. Uh, I want to go ahead and cancel this out, come back in. So we have our information here. Let's look at advanced TCP IP properties. So advanced TCP IP settings, we have the IP settings tab, and this is a spot where you can actually specify more than one IP address. You can click on add, add a second IP address to the same system, the same NIC card. Down below you can do the same for, for default gateways. You can add multiple default gateways with various metrics, which are kind of like costings. You can decide well, which way would you prefer to go if you did have two default gateways. We have a DNS tab for more specific DNS information, a WINS tab for WINS information, and uh, TCP IP options. You can filter out some ports going to and from your computer for a little extra security. So that's about it for our advanced settings here.